Welcome back to the Ghost Key. I'm Grain. Today we're gonna get started on some more of the epic prologue crap. Um, in between the last episode and this one, we decided to go ahead and do a bunch of the, like the trash quests and stuff like that that are around here. That's why we're well. That's why we've gone up a shit ton of levels, and we decided to go hit the cosmetic stuff and uh, make sure our characters look halfway decent. So. Um, Anyway, that's about that. So we're gonna go over here and kill this warg. It's the warg, right? Skunkwood den mother. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, I think it's something like that. Um, also, uh, I haven't said this. I didn't say this in the first episode, but I probably should have. If you're out there and you wanted to give this game a try, it is free to play off of Steam or pretty much anywhere. Um, we are located on the Arkenstone server and our guild is called Skyclad. In case you, um, you know, happen to be on or, you know, want to hook up with us sometime or not, you know, we're probably going to be on frequently now that they have all this new shit to do. Well, not really, all this super new stuff. That's one thing that I do like about this game. They've been pretty consistent well, about the shit. Well, they changed the, the deeds a little bit. And they yeah, change some but, but they, don't, they don't wholesale change it like World of Warcraft does. That's one of the things that really deters me from playing it. I don't like that instability where shit you coming all right yeah i'm behind you where i'm shit. just slightly slower yeah but I, I don't like how they keep fucking changing shit like if you played old old world of warcraft when remember when they had like the the tech trees and, and or the spec trees whatever you want to call them you know back in the day well then they got away from that and then they started doing this you know they used to have the talent trees that's what they were talent trees that's what they called them and then they just completely redid that bullshit where you just have, like, one stupid skill point you can choose every fucking level. And then everything else you get is just standard bullshit. I don't like how they just completely, re you know, redid shit like that well, they've from time to time. Well, they pretty much pigeonholed you so you can yeah. you know, do multiple things. That and they, they always found a way to completely change everything. Like, in one patch or one expansion, you'll be able to use two-handed weapons or whatever with this spec or something stupid. And then, like I said, like with the Death Knight, what they did to mine is... Well, not really what they did to mine specifically, but... What they did do was they changed it so that you couldn't... Couldn't do the two-handed stuff with, um... In blood anymore. Or couldn't do the dual-wielding, sorry. Not two-handed. I meant dual-wielding. Well, it's also, like, if you wanted... For DPS, for the Shaman... Yeah. They like to go back and forth and nuke things yeah, yeah. for some reason. Yeah, they like to go back and forth and just fucking completely change shit. And I don't like that. And for the most part, these classes have always been pretty much the same. I mean, they, they've tweaked them and added things, but they haven't made, like, complete wholesale changes and just completely, you know... Oh, this class sucks now. <laughs> yeah. Well, no, no, not just that. I'm talking, like, complete mechanic changes, oh. you know? Like, you know, completely changing spells and taking them out like they do in World of Warcraft. I mean, they take spells out, add them back in, put them back, you know, take them back out. I can't cast and run at the same time. Yeah, yeah, shit like that. Like, that. that's a big example. Yeah, glyphs in World of Warcraft. If you've played World of Warcraft and how they add glyphs to the game, put them in there for a specialization, and then take them out, delete them entirely, and you're like, what the fuck? Like, yeah, with our, with our orc shamans, the, the, the little glyph that allowed you to run and cast lightning bolt. Love that thing. That was like, I, that was standard on mine. Pretty much the shaman's only good now for healing, not even DPS anymore. I mean, well, they, they heal, their DPS is good, but I, I did see someone a couple days ago when I was PvPing. He was complaining. He's like, "Yep, yeah, I'm starting to re regret rolling a, a, a elemental shaman because one fucking, one little fucking silence, and I can't do a damn thing. I'm like, well, yeah, that is right. You can't do anything if you get silence. It's pretty much the end of the fucking world if you're PvPing or doing anything like that. But, you know. They did make the warriors better, though. A little bit, but, I mean, like... One, one thing that's interesting, but what they didn't do with the warrior is they didn't take out all the fucking skills that they had. True. You know, because they still have all the things that they need to tank and intercept and shit like that. That was one, that's one thing, once again, I hate that about World of Warcraft. They're taking out all these spells and all these unique things that like classes used to have. I mean, not super unique, but, I mean, all these spells that, like, if you liked a certain rotation and you built your character around using that, you can't fucking do that anymore because they took them out. Like when I, like I said, when I logged in on, on Warlords of Draenor and I tried to, tried to play my, my Death Knight, and it's like, hey... Half your fucking spells are missing, so... You had so many holes on your bar. Oh, God, yeah. Well, it's like, what the fuck? What's my fucking rotation now? I mean, they dumbed it down and took shit out, so it's like, well... 
I mean, I ended up using Death Coil, which I never fucking used in Blood, but now I have to because what the fuck else am I going to do? I got nothing else to use. It was bullshit. I hated it. Well, that's the difference between Lord of the Rings and WoW. Lord of the Rings, you pretty much, I like this skill. I'll use this one. Yeah. Yeah, and like I said, I mean, they don't just like, oh, you know, we're just going to redo captains and take out half their fucking oh, skills. <laughs> you know, Poor I mean, like, you know, they'll, they'll tweak things and, and make things a little bit better or try and nerf things and balance things, but they won't make wholesale changes like they do in World of Warcraft. That's one thing I'm really thankful for. And, like, you'll see a lot of people complain that, you know, in this game that, oh, you know, they don't change anything or, you know, they haven't changed this in years. Well, if it ain't broke, don't fix it, you know? I mean, seriously. I oh. mean, it, I'm okay with that. It, you know, I'm okay knowing that if I don't play my captain for two months or and I come back after a big patch or something, I, I'm okay knowing that, hey, my captain's still there, you know? I mean, it was a big change when they made the change over to the talent trees or spec trees, whatever you want to call them, or tech trees. That I tend to fucking call them that for some dumb reason. But, I mean, I, I, they made a big change when, when they came over to that, but... To me, personally, I thought the classes were better and a lot more fun. But that's just my personal opinion. I'm coming. And it's, it's also like the, the um, like, when, when they, oh yeah, I gotta go to the leecher cartwell. Yeah, that one guy, remember that one guy that I went up the hill to go talk to earlier? <laughs> yeah, it's that asshole we gotta go to talk oh, to. Oh, alright. But, um. Wait a second. Yeah, no, nah, yeah, you're fine. I'll, I'll, I'll just mount up and... No, fuck, you're, you're pretty Actually, quick. I came out right away. That's yeah. interesting. And you don't need to have, like, the super awesomest computer to play a lot of Yeah, games. that's something I like, I too. I mean, it's it's pretty low-key. I mean, well, actually, really, World of Warcraft is, too, because it's such an older... It's a much, much older graphics engine. Mm -hmm. Even though they are changing things, but they're more just cleaning stuff up. Yeah. I mean, it, it, World of Warcraft looks fine, but I never thought that... In uh, my honest opinion... I never thought you needed an a, a amazing machine to run World of Warcraft, or this nope. game, either. And I think this game, in my honest opinion, looks better. I mean, they just have... If you have... want more detail into things... Yeah. Yes. Well, this... I, I should I should rephrase that. I think this game has better environment. You know, before, before anyone, like, rages out and tells me how ugly these characters look and all that shit. Yes, they are older models. Yeah, they are old models, that. but... I mean, I like the environment. I think the environment looks just fucking amazing. Go stand out in a field for a little bit. Oh yeah, it's so cool. I love go doing that sky. shit. Yeah, go look at the sky and the fucking clouds rolling across and the birds flying around and shit. Yeah. I like that shit. Uh, what do we gotta go do here? We, we need, need to go, go collect Oh, this stuff. is the collecting the crap like like that's like down the fucking street for him. It's like, dude, you couldn't really much. It. Yeah. It's like, you couldn't walk down here. I mean, I can kind of understand killing the bears if he's a little bitch, but it's like, dude... That's funny. We are Bayorans killing bears. Yeah, right? Like I was saying earlier. Why can't like, we just talk to them yeah. and say, hey, can you like, just yo, give me dude, this Like, yo, dude, just chill the fuck out, man. Just, like... Take a I, chill pill. Yeah, I just need to go, Tired. you know, get some of these things, you know. Do, do you mind if I do that right quick? <laughs> I mean, yeah, here's all the fucking bees and shit. And the beehives. Like, who the fuck would put that right next to their house? So I'm gonna tell you right now. I will not be living in that motherfucker. Shit. That's why they have Actually, beehives. No. They go to the beehives. Yeah, yeah. Right. We gotta go. It's this way, right? Uh, is it? Is it? Uh, yeah. Yeah, the there's the strawberries. Berries. Where's the black wart? Is it somewhere else? Uh, I wanna say it is. I can't remember. I haven't done this quest in a long time. Yeah, me either. It's, it's somewhere. Somewhere other than here. But if you really do enjoy a lot of PvE, this is definitely oh, the yeah. game for you. Oh, yeah the hell's... Are you just angry? Yeah, he's pissed, man. He's, he's like, yelling at me. He's giving me the bird. Yeah. He's pissed. He's like, get the fuck out my berries. I farmed them myself. You berry thieving bastard. And shit. But anyhow, yeah, l berries. like you said, it's... This this game is, is pretty cool PvP, or PvE. Not really much of a PvE, or PvP game, but... Uh, it was never meant to be. I mean, that's that's something, too. I mean, there's a lot Oops. of... Oh, yeah, you pissed off that bear. There's plenty of games out there, though, if you want PvP. I mean, seriously, good God. They have PvP fucking MMOs for your telephone, all right? If you really need PvP that bad in an MMO, 
just get a fucking smartphone or some shit. I need more berries. You need more berries? How the fuck did you not get all the berries? Because it doesn't count for both of us. It only counts for one of us. Well, what about this one right here? I'm going. Yeah. <laughs> or this one right over here. All right, Nick, this is my Okay, I got my berries. We're good. Now we All need right. to find the black root. Yeah, and the black root is this way. Yeah, it's way the fuck out there, apparently. So we got... You, you got... Fuck are you? Oh, I <laughs> ran over the hill. <laughs> you were cutting fucking corners and shit. You run faster than I do. Oh, well, don't let me run super duper fast. Not my fault you had way too many points. Mm-hmm. By the way, you earn turban points, marks, and stuff like that throughout the game, so you can get lots of, like, special lots of, things. There's lots of different currency in this game. Uh huh. Also, the marks are used for, like, the skirmishes and stuff, and that's, well, yeah, that's you can, pretty cool. In the skirmishes, you can make your little friends better. Well, your helper. Yeah. Higher lane. Higher lane. That's one thing. I would like them to make that change, too, in, in addition to the new character models. I would like them... I know you can summon them out in the real world like this for a while. Yeah, you have to buy uh, coins or whatever. Yeah, you get the little, them. whatever the hell they're called. I can't remember. They're, they're I some, know you yeah, use a horn. Like the skirmish tokens or something like that or whatever the hell they are. Yeah, you, you can summon them out here every once in a while. But, I mean, it's... They I wish they would let you just... Though. No, they, they're on a timer. They, they only, like, summon them for an hour or whatever. They're not on a cooldown or anything. Oh. Okay. Bitch ass spiders. I don't want to fucking go. I want to eat your face. Oh, I'm getting attacked by a dog, so. Yeah, I don't know where the fuck you're running to. You're Do just you out there weeds? running at shit, yeah. <laughs> running at the weed. The running, weed. Running at the weed. Because I want to make tea. <laughs> you want to make tea? Is that what we're doing for this guy? I can't remember. I think it's actually a salve. Yeah, something like that. Oh, you want to go, dog? But anyhow, I, to finish, to finish my thought, yeah, I I would like them to let you summon these guys all the time, just because the the, the little skirmish, yeah, the little hirelings are, fuck, what are they called? The soldiers. There we go. That's what they're called. And yeah, the little the little skirmish soldiers are a lot of fun, and then they're pretty cool. Well, you can also cosmetically make them pretty. Yeah, and you can you know hook them up with all this cosmetic shit and make them look a certain way and stuff like that. And I, I you know I just think that's something too that like most games don't have. I mean that's 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 one of those unfortunate things too because it's I mean I think that's cool. I think that's one of those things that every game needs to have because it adds. I mean, I was telling you this when we, we were playing uh, WoW. I mean, they have the little fucking dude, but it's oh, just Oh, the that, bodyguard in WoW? Yeah, it's a fucking half-assed idea, though. I mean, they... But you can't control him. Well, it's you can't control any of them. I mean, it's the fact is that there's no, there's no depth to them. It's like you summon them, that's fucking great. You know, supposedly they get armor and shit and all this blah, 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 blah. But... You know, there's no, there's no tweaking. There's nothing you can do with them. It's just like, oh, here's this guy who does trivial damage and, you know, heals you maybe every once in a while if he's the healer type or whatever. I mean, it's, yeah, it, it, his effect on battles and whether they're actually helpful is negligible is what I'm saying. Oh, the soldiers in this game, you pretty much can buff them. Yeah, well, yeah, and that's something too. Yeah, they got skills. They got things you can slot. They have, you know, all the customizable shit you can throw on them. You know, they, they well, make you them make something. can make them just as strong as you. Yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah, and they're, they're very, you can interact with them quite a bit within the skirmishes and shit, and that's why I wish they would let them out in the game world a little bit more. I mean, is it would just be, you know, then I'd have something like that to explore and to play with and to make use of. Fuck, I'm going to Wrong Ellie. House, yep. Dude. I'm, I'm, I was house. like, I gotta go talk to Ellie again, which I think we do after we talk to this guy, don't we? Maybe. Yeah, I, I, something like that. I don't know. But anyhow, that's that's something I would like to see. And, then, and like uh, a lot, like I mean, this it pretty much turns every character into like a pet class character, which I think is fun. Because you know, I like having also I also like having like a customizable pet. That's why like hunters and WoW are fun. But, you know, it is what it is. All right. Now we talk to Ellie. Yeah. And now we gotta go poison the dog or the warg or some shit. I don't fucking know. I ain't going that way. Fuck that. What? I ain't, I ain't gonna break my leg. Oh, yeah, this game doesn't hurt, kill you. It just... I think oh, I didn't break my leg! I think if you fall from certain oh, distances... I, I did. I did. I broke my leg. Oh, now you're walking around like a lame duck. No, my horse is. <laughs> you hear like, ow, ow, ow. You don't die from falling off stuff. You get And that's something that like, really gets annoying and wow, too. It's like, oh, my God. 
Like, you fall 10 feet, and it's like, oh, there goes 90% of your health. It's like, okay. really, dude? What? No. This one just gives you a debuff. So and it's funny, smart. too, because, like, of all the things in World of Warcraft that are completely outlandish and quote, end quote, epic and amazing and flamboyant well, and all sorts of shit. Well, remember when they took out my, um, the ability to take fall damage from the bubbles? I used to be able to bubble and fall off stuff. As the oh, power yeah. Thing. Yeah. This is true. No, you can't do that anymore. Yeah. You can't even bubble hearth anymore. No? You nope. sure? Not in combat. Are you sure? I haven't tried. I think they took that Are out. you sure? Um, defeat the jugger jerk. Jack, jugger jerk. Jugger jerk. <laughs> jugger jerk. The, jugger the juggling jerk. jerk. Yes. Is he our, is he our, our, our epic, uh, our, our epic villain? Our arc villain? Our arc enemy? Boop. Yeah, that's the, that's the oh, wait. What? It's the one dude in the camp. You know what I'm talking about. Uh, more likely when we get there. Yeah. You were going that way earlier when we were killing the brigands for the... Uh... For the... Yeah. the whatever the hell they call the it. The deed. The deed, yeah, the there we deed, go. The deed, which you can... That's something I like, too. Like, okay, like, if you haven't yep. played this game, they had these things called deeds. Basically, they are the same as World of Warcraft achievements, except... You get shit. Yeah, exactly. Except, Outside of like except you actually get things that buff your character and make them better. You get stat increases. You get actual things that matter, not just here's a pet or here's a mount like or pets. here's some. You know, yeah, that's fine. <laughs> I mean, it it's it's something that is actual that matters. So going around and actually slaying 300 brigands or whatever or bears in whatever zone or completing 40 quests in a zone or some dumb shit, you know, those things are actually things that make you better. Mm -hmm. And they do make a big because of the way they they do the stats. You'll look at the the deeds or and it's like, "Wow, it gives me this trait and it only gives me like plus 10 to vitality or whatever." But in the long run, when you get to doing high-end dungeons and shit like that, those are the things that make a world of difference. If you have, not necessarily the wrong shit slotted, but the wrong stuff for what you're doing, you know, obviously it doesn't make a whole Ooh, lot of sense to, yeah, to Dang stack it. a bunch of tank stuff if you're a healer. Now, obviously, if you're, like, soloing and stuff like that, you want to just... Ha! There's a Minecraft tree! Yeah, uh, did you find one? Yeah! Where? Where? Okay, come stand where I'm at. All right. Look that way. That one? No, you can see Where's it on one? my screen. I don't see no Minecraft tree. I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, apparently not. I just fell off my horse. Yeah, you're on your own then. <laughs> Shit. I just ran into a dog. I guess I'll stop and slay everything that you can't handle. What do you mean? <laughs> <laughs> I'm the tank. <laughs> yeah. I went down the tank's back. Yeah, if we can call it that. By the way, I'm, you, you may notice that little, well, not really, that big-ass honeycomb sitting all over my head and shit. That apparently is the the, the little uh, the little mark of Grim Bay Orn thing. It's some fucking, fucking buff thing. It's a crust? Yeah, this little thing, yeah, it's, it is, it is what it is. It's a, uh, yeah, it's... I'm I'm surprised that what it's actually on. What does your buff say, anyways? Mark it, of Grim Bayon. It it makes like a, it gives you buffs to certain skills if you have like a basically a friendly target, which is interesting so you because can target yourself. Well, if you just let me finish. Okay. Which is interesting considering it consumes the wrath or rage, whatever you want to call it, and it doesn't de like I don't know on whatever like not despawn but. Uh, it doesn't it doesn't tick off if the counter reaches zero as you see right now which is weird so basically it, I'm, I'm not complaining I'm just saying that's kind of nice that um, that uh, it, it it's it, I guess it's only active when I have wrath that's what I'm guessing and it's just it, it's just sitting there over my head but I don't know it, it is what it is and We'll we'll see what it I don't I don't even think I have any skills that it affects right now. Maybe Harden. Uh, no, maybe not, yeah. It, there should be some skill that I have that that needs it to or gets buffed by it. Rawr. Says me. New deed, Harden. Oh yeah, cast out a shit ton of times. Yep. You can pretty much just cast spells to do damage. 
Well, do damage. That's, well, pretty, that's pretty much uh -oh. self-explanatory. What are you pulling over there? Oh, just people. And that's on the twos. You notice the screen getting all dark over here? If you if, oh, you, if the... you were watching, yeah. I'd oh, leave. because of the. Blah, 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 I love that shit. Like the ambient, like, uh, like the ambient effects that they have in the game. They're meant to kind of. You're going into a dark, dreadful place. Yeah, they're meant to kind of um, bring across like the psychological aspects of the game, where you know you go into an area that's scary, or you know, yeah, it has a lot of fucking evil or some shit. I think it's badass, because you'll see, you know, your screen flicker and shit every once in a while, and it'll kind of freak you out Hello. if you're not really paying attention. What are you getting attacked by over there? Oh. A guy trying to run away from me. Yeah, you're fine. Eat that Poisoning kid. Poisoning the sheep. Well, yeah, she's pretty dead, but... Yeah, uh, yeah. The sheep! <laughs> or poisoning, festering, rotting flesh. As if it wasn't bad enough already, it's... right? Oh my god, there's a lot of them back here. Yeah, I know there is. Yeah, that's why I went <laughs> this way. We get all of our sheep out of the way here, and then we walk back there, kill the Angarim guy, oh, and no. Jagger Jack. Fuck you, Wolf. Yeah, you're on your own. I'm just gonna poison these fuckers and let you deal with it. Alright, whatever. Because I'm, I'm <laughs> good like that. Yep, keep up the good work. Yep, keep it up. I'm all like... You wanna know what I just fucking realized? What? With the hair that this guy has, and the armor, and the cape, and basically it? just the general color scheme of this character, he is a walking, um, he's, he's like the walking twin to my scald on, uh, Dark Age of Camelot. Oh. Like, he had, like, the same kind of squat posture, the same shiny little shoulder things, and, and, and That's a game you haven't played in a while. I know, I love that game. God, I love that game. That's my favorite MMO, probably. Other than this one. I like this one a lot, but that one, like I said, whoops, see the little screen get all flashy and freaky and stuff. And you do take, like, debuffs for being in certain areas, which is fucking cool. Oh, shit, like that right there. Like, Whoa. I'm getting a health debuff for being in a place that's this idle thing. It's, like, fucking emanating pure fucking evil and shit. So, yeah, you get health debuffs Whoa. and shit, which I think is just so cool. I mean, you don't see that in any games. Well, it's supposed to be environmental. Yeah, I know. I like those environmental effects. I think that's I think it's fucking cool. It makes it makes places more like certain areas more. Don't stand here. <laughs> no, it, it makes them more poignant. It makes them more important. It makes it you know feel more like whoa, dude, that place is fucked up. You know, like when you go to a, you'll go to some places like in um, Angmar and stuff where your health will be dropped to half of what it should be. Because you're in such a fucking evil place and it scares the fuck out of your character. Which I think, once again, is awesome. Whereas, like, in WoW, I mean, everything's so epic and all this stuff. It's like, you know, I've been in all these fucking dungeons and, and all these places in that game. And it's like, you know, eh, whatever. I think you know. the new dungeons are too short. Yeah, yeah. As I say, they, they've gotten away from the game. That Once again, they've changed things so much that they've gotten away from the things that you know, make an MMO an MMO. It's supposed to be, a, you know, kind of a sit-down experience. I mean, you're not meant to, you know... I mean, don't get me wrong, I, I don't like sitting here and having to spend my entire life leveling up a character, but at the same time, you know, it's it's one of those things where, you know, it's at least meant to be some sort of a fucking journey, not just, you know, oh, okay, go get loot so you can get your gear score up so you can go do the next dungeon and get more loot so you can get your gear score up even more so you can go on to the next one and then the next one and then eventually do raids and get your higher gear score there and maybe get lucky and get fucking mounts that you know make you look more important than everyone else that plays the f fucking video game I mean it's pretty much what WoW is just one big giant rat race to see who gets what which yeah you know man. there's no and that's something too like there's no character development like there is in this game well they took well wow, you have out. a shit ton of things following you right now eh. As long as I don't stop. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> well, I only got six things following. And that's something too, like like the deeds and stuff. Seven. <laughs> the deeds and stuff in this like game. Off a spider. Yeah, no, I, yeah, I see that. The deeds and stuff in this game at least give you some control over what your character does. Same thing with the talent trees. You know, it's like, well, I don't really like using that skill, so fuck it. I'm not gonna put points into making it better. And I like that. I like having that control. I also like being treated like I'm somewhat intelligent instead of just like a dumb two-year-old who just gets fed everything on a fucking plate and is like, oh, that's the video game. Deal with it. It's like, you know, fuck you. <laughs> it's 
It's not. It's not how I roll. I'm just, you know, I'm just crazy. And keep like in that. mind, we've been playing WoW since the beginning, so mm -hmm. we're not just newbies that just played Warlords. Yeah. So. <laughs> yeah. I remember when the first twenty man dungeons came out. <laughs> wow. I yeah, remember the one the level cap was fifty. There wasn't. It was never fifty. Was it fifty? It was sixty. Sixty. Ass. Close Jeez, enough. Jesus, not really close enough. All right. Fifty is just Dark Age of Camelot. Oh, okay. Getting yeah. things confused. Hello, yeah. people. Yeah. Go buy peoples. Buy peoples. There's still a very large community of people on Lord of the Rings, so it's like everybody's like, "Oh my God, it's a dying game." Actually, no. It's still in the top ten. Number like it's number seven, but it's still making money. It's still out there. It's still alive. Mm. You're talking on like what, what was it like the top ten grossing MMOs or something yes. like that? Yeah, gross income MMOs. Yeah. It's this one. Yeah, as it's I say, like if, if it's 10. a <laughs> if it's a game that's in the top ten, it's kind of hard. I mean, yeah, sure, maybe you know they don't have as many people as other games, but or at least in certain areas. But like I was telling you earlier, like when when it comes to like uh, wow, I mean. Remember when we first played on what was that server? Lightbringer. Uh -huh. And there were a shit ton of people on there, and then we got out of there, and then there's nobody on that server now. It's like, you know. It's like, it says like new players. Yeah, it says new player population. It's like, you know, what? On there. Yeah, I know, right? I was like, what the fuck? I remember when you had to sit there and wait for 45 minutes to get onto the fucking game during primetime oh, hours. Oh, God. I remember you know? trying to queue. Exactly, right? Well, I, I get to queue at 346. All right. I guess mm. I'll sit here and wait. Yeah. All because I want to run the dungeon with my guild. I guess I'll go get some ice cream now, right? Hmm, pretty much. That's what Terry used to do. Yeah, that was funny. This is it's a like, good I'll be back. Days. It's like, okay. Yeah, 40 minutes later. But anyhow, um, I think that does it for this episode. I have no idea how long this has been going. Probably a long episode. But we'll get in because I think the hideout is the one where we go do the thing with the little the, the hobbit. You, yes. know, you know what I'm talking about. Yes, yeah, with the short go. person. Yeah, with Toradan and all that stuff. But anyway... If you made it this far on YouTube, you know what to do. Thanks a lot for watching, and remember, the ghost key is the only place where pants are optional. Bye.